Okay, so as everyone knows, Valorant Champions is just around the corner now. And this year, we've got 16 teams competing for a prize pool of $2.2 million. However, there doesn't seem to be enough discussion or even thought around one huge factor. And that's Chamber. Tree fight taken, Melter, not enough damage to really bring them down, but everybody falling is left up to King, but he will go down. Shots into Jeremy, Sugar Zero has the finisher. Crow finds dubstep, Borkum goes down, and that's gonna do it! 13 to six, and a fuse comes in! State of Division are going back to an international stage! They have earned the right, they have earned their spot as champions in Los Angeles! Fans fallen is down to the back line. The double operators in play have to hold this. Seen it, doesn't get the shot he wants. Oh, it's so good, just fallen. Rhyme on the verge of closing this down. Angel with it all to do. Rhyme sends him home. Giants claiming. As many of you will already know, the conclusion of LCQ means that we'll be getting Giants, Crew, and Zeta Division at Champions 2023. Now, what's pretty interesting about all three of these teams is that. They all use Chamber in some capacity. Now, maybe I'm looking too much into this, but I do think that this is a little bit of foresight into what we might be seeing at Champions, you know, with teams picking up that Chamber uh, on certain maps and compositions, such as Lotus, maybe Fracture. Uh, something quite interesting is, like, you know, when you look at Zeta Division, they made a miracle run throughout, you know, LCQ with the main head, Laz, playing Chamber. You know, both previously and currently, Laz has shown that he's tremendous on the agent, uh, arguably one of the best chamber players in the world, both previously and currently. Um, you know, they they played him in the last two games of the LCQ run, playing him on Fracture and Lotus. Um, and we didn't get to see their bind composition, unfortunately, in LCQ, but it does make me wonder, will we see it at Champions and will it be with Chamber? Um, you know, you've got, or even Crew, you know, the, the NA underdogs proving their true potential when given enough time and practice. You know, Davies pulling out Chamber on split for LCQ. You know, not only is almost every Chamber player able to hold a positive KDA, but also have incredibly high ACS um, for someone that only has a pistol and a trap, you know? Um, and then you've got, you know, Giants Hoodie, who played Chamber during every map against Na'Vi. I doubt Na'Vi was, you know, were fully prepared and ready for this. If they were, then fair enough. But, you know, I think uh, Giants gave him a really good smack in. Um, so it shows, you know, that Chamber can be used in the highest of levels. And I do think that we will be seeing him a lot more in Champions. One team that I can see making the most out of this slight meta shift is NRG. When looking at NRG as a team, they've shown in prior events this year that they aren't a team you should take lightly. The championship core of FNS, Chet, Crashies and Victor, who are undoubtedly some of the best players within their roles, along with the addition of Som this year, who has shown the world that he isn't just a ranked streamer, but one of the most consistent controllers in the world. They also have Ardis. Big Keith. He might actually get it as well. Okay, Juan goes in and gets it dip away. Does get marked though. Prowler, not a problem just yet. Another no th way! Oh, oh my god! 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 The man can do no wrong! One of the greats to stand on this stage so far! During his time with FBX, Ardis was one of the best chamber players in the world. You couldn't argue otherwise. Competing with alongside Durka, Buzz, Yampi, even Ye. I think that with the firepower that this roster has and the flexibility between Victor and Ardis, we could see Ardis go back onto the chamber this year. And Vic possibly taking on the entry role once again. Oh, sounds too good to be true, no? I predict that NRG will likely stick to running Chamber on Bind, as well as Lotus, Fracture, possibly even Split. This is after looking at old data when, you know, good old Optic used to have Ye and Marved. You know, you slip Ardis and Som back into those roles and you've got good old Optic gaming. I can imagine them having a double Sentinel with FNS going back onto the Killjoy and Ardis on Chamber and even Vic on Jet Rays. However, the only issue is it would leave Sam as a solo controller, and everybody knows how much NRG love double controller. It'll be interesting to see, but I have no doubt that they have cooked up a chamber comp, and they will use it at Champions. Another team that I think will alter their composition slightly 
it seemed liquid. Despite the rough start at lock-in, Liquid have shown themselves to be a heavy competitor for the Champions Trophy, showing firepower throughout the regular split as well as Tokyo, placing 5th, 6th. During the previous iteration of Liquid, back when Chamber was still strong in meta, Yampi was alongside Ardis, Durka and some of the best Chamber players in the region. In the current iteration of Liquid, Yampi has taken more of a Flash's initiator role within the team. However, with the raw talent of Yampi's op, alongside his previous results on the agent. It does pose a question if Team Liquid will take this approach in Champions. You can always see Yampi playing off meta champions with orbs like Sova, Breach, Sky. The guy doesn't really care. As long as he's got an orb, he is chilling. I believe that putting Soulcast back onto his comfort role of an in info initiator, whilst having Nats and Redgar on double control with Yampi on chamber, I think Team Liquid will be able to make a strong run at champs. How everyone knows you can't really talk about Chamber without bringing up Loud, and especially how crucial the agent was for Loud during Champions 2022 when they were able to win the entire event. Lesser's Chamber was a crucial factor in allowing the Kings of Brazil to win at Champions 2022, with Less having 227 ACS as well as having a 1.4 KD across the entire tournament. Loud's overall role structure is very similar to what it was back in 2022. Despite the team not having Sassy and Pancada as both main initiator but also controller players, with Cowan, Zine and Tui's replacing them, I believe that the current iteration of Loud could possibly bring back Chamber if needed be. Now, Loud were actually one of the only teams to actually not conform to the Chamber meta of using him on every map, and this is due to the IGL initiator issue that we saw at the beginning of 2023. If Loud were to pick Chamber at Champions, it would require Sadak to take the secondary controller role on the double controller maps, which would allow Les to play Chamber. However, I can see Loud having a Chamber composition all prepped and ready. However, I can't see them using it as much as other teams such as NRG or Liquid. The last team I, uh, I want to talk about is Paper Rex. And Paper Rex cook. Like, they are constantly cooking in the kitchen. The first real professional team to fully bring out Reyna and make it look insane. Um, and they are basically the exact same team as they previously were during the Chamber meta, just without Benkai, and they've swapped Benkai for something. Now, Paper X, I don't know if any of you remember, but they had two phenomenal Chamber players. You know, they had Divi and they had Forsaken, both alternating the, the agent. What Paper X currently have within the team, within roles and agents, is working for them really, really well. And I'd be surprised if they change anything unless issues have been arising during practice or early into the tournament. However, with Chamber being slowly introduced to the meta again, there is a chance that we see both Forsaken and possibly even Duvai pick up the Chamber once again. So that's it for this video, however there are still so many other teams in this year's champs that could possibly bring Chamber back into the game. Some of the other teams include DRX with Buzz, EG's Boostio, reigning champions Alfie and Durka, T1 Sire and maybe Munchkin, Navi Sugetsu, the list goes on and on. Like I said, I could be reading way too much into this, however I just have this feeling that the Chamber meta is slowly creeping back in and we could be reliving champs 2022 this has been my first ever valorant video so if you did enjoy it a like or a comment would be massively appreciated uh, and if there are any other topics relating to valorant you would like me to cover then go ahead and leave it down in the comments because i actually had a, quite a lot of fun making this video and um, so if you did make it this far i massively appreciate it and i hope to see you again cheers for our victory dance Thank you.